Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain image theory of charges with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first I'll explain basics of image theory of charges. After that, I'll explain examples of image charges. After that, I'll explain essential key points regarding image theory. And at last, I'll explain image theory for two ground planes. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of image theory of charges. So first of all, you need to understand what is image theory. See, image theory is there regarding replacement of infinite conducting ground plane with respect to charge. So as if you have charge placed above infinite conducting ground plane, then ground plane is replaced by image of charge with opposite polarity. Let me give you some examples that will give you more clarity. Like you can observe here, we have infinite conducting ground plane and here we have positive charge that is placed at spacing D with respect to infinite conducting ground plane. Then as per image theory, we can replace this infinite conducting ground plane by image of charge where image of charge is having opposite polarity. Like you can observe here, see image of charge is there by green color one can observe image of charge that is having opposite polarity and image of charge that we need to place with respect to this line which is a line of infinite conducting ground plane. You can observe here we have a line of infinite conducting ground plane with respect to this line we are placing image of charge, right? So image of charge that one can place as per image theory by replacing infinite conducting ground plane and image of charge is having opposite polarity compared to actual charge polarity, right? Let me give you one more example. So here we have line charge, you can observe this line charge that we have placed with respect to infinite conducting ground plane where this line charge is having spacing D1 over here and D2 over here. As per image theory, we can replace this infinite conducting ground plane by image of this charge. Like you can observe here, image of this line charge that is happening like this, right? Where this spacing is D1, over here it is D1, this spacing is D2, over here it is D2. That is how one can form image of this line charge. Here polarity of this line charge that is opposite compared to this. Like here we have positive rho L. So image is having negative rho L. Right. So that is how one can place image charge as per image theory where in image theory we replace infinite conducting ground plane by image of charges where image of charges is having opposite polarity. But it is not that straightforward. There are few essential key points that you need to understand over here. Like you can observe here, I'll be discussing about essential key points where first key point that states that image charges must be there inside conducting ground plane region. So here one should know, see this is what image charge. So this image charge that must be there inside this infinite conducting ground plane region, right? So it is inside this infinite conducting ground plane region that is first key point. This first key point is quite simple but if you observe second key point that is quite interesting. See it is based on potential at this reference layer. Like you can observe this is what reference layer which is infinite conducting ground plane layer. So at this layer potential must be zero. The reason is one should know see infinite conducting ground plane at this layer, we have zero potential. So as and when you replace this infinite conducting ground plane by image of charge, at that time, this reference line that should be having zero potential. That is how we need to replace this infinite conducting ground plane by image of charge. So there are two essential key points that you need to note down first. First is, you can replace infinite conducting ground plane by image of charge where polarity of charge is opposite. You can observe 
this image that is having opposite polarity secondly on this line potential should be zero that is how we need to replace this right now let me explain third key point that is regarding two different infinite conducting ground planes if you have two different infinite conducting ground planes where angle between two infinite conducting ground plane is pi over here so as if angle is pi over here then number of image charges that will be 360 degree divided by 5 degree minus 1 so see here we have positive charge q so there will be image charges over this side over this side right so how many image charges will be there that is based on this equation 360 degree divided by 5 degree minus 1 right let me explain this by one example that will give you more clarity so here i'll be taking one example where we have two infinite conducting ground planes you can observe angle between two infinite conducting ground plane that is 90 degree over here this plus q charge that is having spacing d over here and spacing d over here so how many image charges will be there so you should know this equation total number of image charges that is 360 degree divided by 5 degree minus 1 where phi is angle between two infinite ground planes so 360 divided by 90 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 so here there will be three image charges now question is how to place those charges so for that you need to understand two essential key points first key point that states that as and when you place image of charge at that time there has to have opposite polarity and second key point that states that on the reference line of infinite conducting ground plane there must be zero potential right now let me explain this by placing image charges so here what i'll do is i'll be placing image charges with respect to this infinite conducting ground plane so i have extended this line over here you can observe this is actual charge which is having spacing d and d over here as per this diagram right now here if you observe this is what infinite conducting ground plane layer that is this layer so here image that will appear over this side that image will be having negative polarity compared to this spacing wise it is d and d over here and d and d over here so this is first image charge that is quite easy right similarly with respect to this infinite conducting ground plane over this side there will be image that will be having negative polarity and spacing wise it is d and d d and d over here right but as per image theory over here there will be three charges so what should be the location of third image charge that one can understand based on potential at center now you see potential at center over here that is zero because of plus q and minus q charge but potential at this center that will be appearing because of this minus q charge so what we need to do we need to place one plus q charge over this side so here third image charge that is plus q over here and that plus q charge that is resulting into zero potential at origin over here right so what will happen you see on this line on this line potential will be zero because of this plus q and this minus q charge and this minus q and this plus q charge right the reason is opposite polarity and distance wise it is equal over here on this line on this line there will be zero potential because of this minus q and this plus q charge as well as this plus q and this minus q charge so in total you can say this line that is having zero potential over here which is what the basic statement which earlier i told you so there will be three charges so how to place third charge that i have explained over here now as and when you have question based on calculation of potential or electric field at any location right so first of all you need to replace this infinite ground plane by image charges 
once you replace that by image charges and as if you have location then with the identification of spacing and charge one can identify total potential or total electric field at given location right so here i have explained you image theory right but based on image theory you can calculate many other parameters even like potential electric field so in image theory you need to understand first how to place image charge right so there are two key points first is image charge that should be image of actual charge and that should be having negative polarity second key point that is the line of that infinite conducting ground plane that should be having zero potential and third key point that is based on number of image charges as if you have multiple infinite ground plane right and see for two infinite ground plane only there can be equation if you have more than two ground plane then situation is getting bit tricky that cannot be explained here by two dimensional diagrams but for two infinite ground plane this is how one should do calculation and then you can proceed for a calculation I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is image theory of charges. Still, if anything I would like to share, just note it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.